Let's take a look at how to represent data in series properties in our high charts. To do that, let's assign an array to our series property. In that array, we'll have an object, and that object will have a data property. And on that data property, we can have our data points represented in one of three ways. The simplest way to do that is a numerical value. So you can have 1, 10, 20, 40, 2. Let's see how that plays out. Apples, bananas, oranges, and now you have three. And four, I mentioned it in one of the previous videos, so each data point, each data point correlates to the one apple, 10 bananas, and 20 oranges. And then after that, since we don't have enough categories, it would just be named by a number. What you can do instead is get rid of the categories altogether and have an array of arrays of data and each one of them would have one x value and one y value. So you can have 210, 410, 37, and you have this sort of 210, 3 at 7, and you have 4x at 10 as well. Y property will also be a number, but you can pass uh, on the X property. Uh, well, let's have all names. So Jane, Jack, John, Aunt John. So this will be then you. Or another option is to have an array with objects in them, and then we can specify each property directly. We can have a name property on it. Let's say Jack. We have Y property on it. We can pass a X property. Let's say two. So okay, we can copy this and make another object. And let's call it something else. And let's have here 20 at five, at four, okay. So this is Jack and this is Jane. We can also have name property on our series. So let's say fruit consumption or in this example, it really doesn't matter what we call it and it will be changed here. You can also have color property on this objects. And that'll be red.